Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys, thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel guys. In today's video we'll be working on a Chevy Cruze guys and we will show you how to remove or how to replace the front cigarette lighter, or also known as uh, front power outlet. Okay, if your cigarette lighter or power outlet does not work guys and you replace the fuse, everything's fine, you need to check the connection or you need to replace the socket because sometimes they go bad, stay with us, we'll explain how to do that. If you need to purchase one guys, we'll have the link uh, in the description of the video below, also you can find parts, okay, any part for your car for super good price, fast shipping, so check it out guys. Quick introduction, we will have more than 200 videos on Chevy Cruze, why guys? Because our mission is to save you as much money as we can. In addition, we will have more than 200 videos on any car we get at the shop, so don't forget to subscribe guys. What do we need to do in order to get to the uh, front cigarette lighter? We actually guys need to remove the whole center console. Okay, the whole thing needs to come out, so stay with us, we'll start with that and then we'll continue with the lighter. So let me show you guys what we need to do first. Right here we have uh, two screws that we need to remove. Okay, you can see one coming out. Now second one guys, is coming loose. Okay, now right here underneath that flap, we need to remove it. Now things get a little bit more complicated and I will explain in a second why. Because we have the USB cable and the auxiliary cable here guys. So now in order to disconnect them you can you have to reach from the back. But you cannot reach from the back unless you remove two bolts. And I will explain where those are now. So removing this one now. Okay, let me just grab those screws and pull them out. Okay, so they're not in the way. Okay, perfect. Now guys, let me explain, okay, what else we need to do. So now guys, we're going to lift that thing up, but you cannot pull it out, unfortunately, okay. It's not possible, because we have the cables, okay, the cables for the, uh, right there for the uh, USB and auxiliary port as well. So now right here in the back, okay, you just lift it up. And there is, okay, two more that we need to remove, two more screws like that, guys. So let me see, or I'll be able to pull it out. No, I will be able, it will come out, guys. So uh, once I disconnect them, okay, I'll show you what needs to be done. Okay, let me just... Grab a screwdriver now to push in here. Okay, you can see that thing comes out. Now, how you attach it, guys? Okay, right here. Okay, let's focus here inside now. That here, guys, that black thing, okay, it slides up and down. This is for the USB. Okay, when it comes down, like that, okay, you unhook it, guys, and it comes loose. This thing right here, okay, you just press in here and you pull it out as well. And you can see that thing will come out. So let me show you what to do next. So now we, we have three screws that we need to remove towards the back with a few of screwdriver guys. One. Two. Ah, I just dropped that one. Good thing it's still here. Number three now, right here. And the armrest lid should come out. Okay, almost, almost coming out, guys. Okay, let me get that bolt loose. Perfect. Now if I come towards the front and pull it out, okay, you can see guys, the armrest lid came out of the car just like that. With that uh, cover out of the way now, guys, let me explain why we did that, because right here now we have two hidden bolts, and if you do not remove those bolts, you're going to break the holes, and uh, later it may not close good, and uh, your arm, armrest lid cover may not function correctly guys so what i'm going to do now okay right here in the corner there is just two okay two screws that we need to remove okay perfect just like that so one is almost out okay black screw guys like that okay check it out now we have one more 
right there. This is the second one. Many people will not think about that because most of the ones, the back just has clips, but this one has screws, otherwise you cannot remove it. Perfect. Now, I grab it and it has four clips. We grab it, pull it out. Okay, and this is your cigarette lighter outlet. Okay, down there. So what I'm going to do now, okay, right here, we need to press in. Okay, let me press in and disconnect it and I'll show you guys. Okay, that thing right there. Okay, that's where you press in, disconnect it. And this is, guys, okay, right here, your cigarette lighter socket now. You can see the power outlet. Now, removing that thing, guys, it's not uh, it's not so complicated but you actually have to remove the cigarette lighter first okay before you can uh, you can pull uh, pull the socket and i'll show you how to do that let me just find a small screwdriver guys small screwdriver somewhere here uh, okay we have one here right i was looking for another one that's a little bit small now when you open it right here you have one hole okay and one on this side you have two holes guys two clips so you need to push one okay in and the cigarette lighter will need to come up guys so let me show you now okay it's a little bit complicated design but eventually it comes up so I'll try to see if I can do it from here because this is the same clip okay right there otherwise we won't be able to remove it guys so let me see what I'll do I'll just push in here just a little bit And a little bit on this side and we're almost out but not quite yet but what I found out if you just push a little bit harder the clips will come out from here so that way you can remove it as well so what we need to do next guys we're going to work right here on that trim removal okay so let me show you okay what we need to do we need to get a plastic panel removal too guys and now right here okay we need to pop a couple clips loose okay one came loose now more here on the bottom i'll start towards the back now right here hopefully we can get a few out you have to be careful not to break your heater controls because it's trying to push up but actually what we need to do okay we need to come out and up so you will see in a second okay this one is stuck a little bit here okay perfect now we go up like that guys we're going to flip on the other side i'll disconnect the switches and show you what i'm doing give me just a second now okay to see exactly okay how this one is i need to get a small screwdriver okay and that wire now right here we just need to pry it gently to come out this wire on this side is a little bit easier that uh, grip piece you need to push it back push down okay and disconnect it that piece comes out now what else guys we need to uh, remove here why we need to do all that okay because the center console actually you can see is bolted right here so what we'll need to do next okay let me go get a screwdriver the power electric screwdriver so i can guys uh, remove easily next uh, few bolts so i don't waste your time because we'll need to remove guys 
Okay, you can see that cup, uh, that uh, not holder, mm, like coin holder, whatever it is, that storage compartment right here. We need to remove these two screws. So, I get the same 7 mm socket now that we've been using, but I'm just gonna put it on the screwdriver so it saves me a little bit of time. Okay, one screw there, one here, the same screws on the other side. So I'm going to leave that storage compartment up. Okay, and I'll just leave the screws here so I don't lose them. Next, guys. Okay, right here we have one screw that we need to remove, but okay, now things got even more interesting. That center console, it's not an easy thing to replace, guys. And, and I'm going to explain why. Let me just make sure that this thing stops. Okay, this ball will need to come out, this screw, okay perfect, now one more on this side, just like what we had on the other side, okay right here, perfect, now let me see if we're gaining anything here, okay to make sure that it's not coming with the dash, okay perfect, so far guys, so good, we're done here, now let me explain what else we need to do. Okay, that now, emergency brake needs to be lifted up. Now we're going to move that seat all the way to the front and we'll move the passenger seat all the way to the front too. Both seats need to go to the front, guys. Okay, let me just get my screwdriver and I'll explain why. So, both seats to the front. Now we come to the back, okay? And here, remember where we removed a few things? Okay, now, right there, let me just show you quick. We have two more screws that we need to remove on the right side. Okay, and one here. Perfect. Now, exactly the same thing needs to be applied, okay, to the driver's side. Okay, right there. So, one here. Okay, and one over there. Now guys, if you try to move your center console up, it should actually start lifting itself up, but I was trying to see if we actually needed to remove that piece. Let me see now. Okay, it looks like it's loose on this side. Now, let's come to the passenger side. Okay, right here. I'll get the screwdriver because we're going to need it again. And you'll see where. Okay, and... Now here, guys, I'm going to screw that seat all the way to the back. Okay, I know, it's a little bit of a chaos. But here now we need to remove one more cover. Okay, this cover. How it comes out, I usually pull on the front, here on the bottom. It has a few clips. Okay. So, let me explain where the clips are. Okay, you have one, two, three, four clips. And two that go kind of like that under the other one. Now, with the same two guys, with the same screwdriver, I'm going to remove... Okay, right here we have one more bolt that we need to remove. One more screw, excuse me screw or bolt practically the same thing so what we need to do now we need to go to the uh, to the passenger uh, to the driver's side and we need to do exactly the same thing okay so let me focus quick because the camera is a little bit foggy okay perfect now I'm going to go ahead and attempt to remove that one too okay that cover okay this one came out now with that thing being out, guys, I can remove that screw right there. Okay, the screw is out. Now, we're going to attempt to remove the center console now. So now, okay, if we lift it up, okay, let me see if it's going to come out of here, guys. 
we have a few cables still attached one of them is for the cigarette lighter that I'm going to disconnect okay from okay right here I'm going to show you how to do that in just a second okay give me a second because I cannot actually get my hand in there from this position okay perfect now if I lift it up more okay here it looks like something is still holding and this is guys I have a few clips holding okay the wiring harness to the center console so I need to see okay how that's gonna come out now one of them came loose okay another one came loose one more now right here one more clip holding okay that wiring harness in place and now it looks like the only thing holding guys okay is the emergency brake handle that eventually came out now let's come here closer and show you where all the clips were okay one of the clips was holding here okay for the cables the other one was underneath right here guys I unhooked those and you can see this came out now those are the clips I was talking about just two clips right here you can see and that center console guys okay comes out just like that with no problem so as you can see guys this is okay the front uh, cigarette lighter or power outlet now the correct way to remove it guys okay we'll be okay right here you have two clips one right here one you have on this side 180 degrees from this and you need to push those plastic clips in and pull the lighter out but on this one guys okay you can actually remove it in another way and let me show you how okay let me pass the camera if you guys okay you have only two clips one here now and one just like that on the other side so if you grab the cigarette lighter and you push it hard okay it should come out guys so let me see that now okay perfect and that whole cigarette lighter assembly guys okay you can see it came out okay just like that the whole assembly now as i said oh that's nasty stuff right there as i said guys uh, remember how i said that uh, you can disconnect it from the inside but you have to push okay those black things okay you see the clips on the inside out okay those are the teeth right here one here one over there and then the metal piece will come out and that trim will actually stay there but as you can see we got that thing out guys okay just like that now putting it together everything is in reverse order we took it apart so hopefully guys the video will be helpful thank you for watching please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time